Henry Smith. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, thank you very much uh, for allowing me to uh, contribute uh, to this debate. I am deeply conscious that there are uh, a number of uh, honourable uh, members who wish to contribute, and I will keep my uh, remarks brief. I'd like to begin by congratulating both all party parliamentary groups on migration uh, and uh, refugees uh, for securing uh, this debate and for taking the time uh, to compile uh, the report uh, that they have. Uh, I uh, rise to speak in this uh, debate uh, today, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, because my constituents in Crawley are both concerned about uh, high levels of immigration, uh, yet are also compassionate about uh, very vulnerable people uh, who uh, come to this country uh, seeking asylum and refuge. Uh, and uh, perhaps that has been particularly highlighted as uh, members uh, across this House uh, will be all too aware over the summer with the uh, Syrian refugee crisis uh, that people have expressed concern uh, about people entering this country, but also uh, compassion uh, for the welfare uh, of uh, those uh, people who are the victims of dictators, uh, of traffickers uh, and uh, of uh, terrorist groups and are concerned uh, about uh, their well-being. And uh, my uh, honourable friend, uh, the member for Enfield Southgate, is, is quite right in when he says uh, certainly this week we have had uh, a great opportunity uh, to uh, discuss these very important matters uh, in all aspects. Uh, I will confine my remaining remarks uh, to uh, immigration uh, detention uh, and the removal centres. Uh, within my constituency, we have Brookhouse and Tinsley House uh, immigration removal centres. Uh, on the uh, outskirts of my constituency is the Cedars pre uh, accommodation, uh, pre departure accommodation uh, centre uh, as well. And I remember. Uh, before I was elected to this place, when I was leader of West Sussex County Council with a social care responsibility uh, last decade, uh, visiting uh, those uh, immigration detention centres um, and being shocked at a time when there was a, a backlog of over 450,000 uh, cases that were being dealt with in this country at some of the conditions in, in those centres, and particularly troubled uh, when I came to the family block. Uh, within those immigration uh, removal uh, centres. And therefore, I pay tribute uh, to uh, the previous uh, coalition government in making an announcement in May 2010 and following through on that, uh, that children would not be held uh, in uh, immigration uh, detention uh, centres. Uh, and certainly, the Cedars uh, removal uh, centre. Uh, on the periphery of uh, my constituency um, has done some great work in um, coordination uh, with uh, Bernardo's. And now uh, we have the lowest number of children uh, ever in immigration detention, which I welcome. I believe in May this year it stood at just 12, um, down from a, a significant high of several hundred uh, children being detained in 2009. So I very much welcome uh, the uh, review that the government uh, has undertaken of immigration detention uh, to be uh, led uh, by Stephen Shaw, of course the uh, former uh, head of the England Wales uh, Prisons and Probation uh, Om Ombudsman. Uh, and uh, I'm confident uh, that uh, that report, uh, aided by uh, the good work of uh, honourable members uh, across this House uh, will come forward with uh, some conclusions into how immigration detention can be effective to ensure we have an effective immigration policy, can be compassionate to ensure that those most, most vulnerable people are properly supported and uh, as uh, uh, other, my honourable friend but in particular uh, the member for Bedford said uh, can be cost effective uh, as well. This is an issue uh, that is top of the agenda for many of our constituents uh, and uh, we do need uh, to get it right and I have confidence uh, that the Home Secretary and my uh, right honourable friend the Immigration Minister uh, will properly uh, address uh, this issue. Uh, finally, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, I would like to pay tribute to the Gatwick Welfare Detainees Group uh, who are based in Crawley. Uh, they do uh, fantastic work and I am very grateful uh, for the briefings uh, that they give me 
uh, we are truly fortunate to have uh, the dedication of many people, uh, both in the immigration removal centres uh, and those uh, groups such as the Gatwick uh, uh, Welfare Detainees uh, Group um, to provide <coughs> the best possible support uh, to those who are in immigration detention.